Hey guys, welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Go check that out. RWA, of course, over on the Sorgatron Media Store. And of course, the Mayhem Show uh, Gold app on your respective smart device. Uh, so this is the point where uh, we like to look back. We like to throw back and, and remember the good times in pro wrestling. Remember, remember some memories, right? Uh, how about some... Remember when... All right. Now this week on Remember When, I you know I I, I this is something that I know we're going to discuss a little bit later uh, at probably at more length, Mike. So let's not start the fight yet. But yes. watching watching the pay per view this weekend, watching uh, Raw last night live in Pittsburgh, and maybe last night is because I was there in Pittsburgh. Um, but I got a feeling I haven't felt for a little bit yet. You know, uh, maybe a little bit. You know, maybe that that CM Punk moment when he won the belt last year. Maybe the first time Daniel Daniel Bryan won the belt, I felt a little bit. Um, but it's. I hearken this this feeling back to the day when I got into wrestling, when I watched Hulk Hogan slamming Andre the Giant, when I watched, you know, any big moment in wrestling, you know, that big exciting moment. And for me, for me, it's like this chill down my spot, you know, and and that's like the the, the pinnacle moment where I'm bought into wrestling. Um, I'm really excited about what's going on. And that's what I got, you know, say a battleground when when Big Show finally came around and punched out everybody in the ring. You know, I got that last night when he finally punched out Triple H and that whole standoff situation there. Now, Mike, this this uh, that uh, what I describe as this kind of chill down my spine kind of kind of you know feeling of euphoria. You know, uh, you describe as uh, the tingle in your balls. Yes, you, it's you a know, little bit yeah. different for each of us, but we get the idea. It's that moment of excitement. You're like. Yes, that was awesome, right? Uh, like kind of the pinnacle of that. If you're completely bought into wrestling, you're completely enjoying wrestling, uh, and there's a really good you know moment like that. Uh, so I, I I thought we could go around and say you know well one it, I, I guess we can turn this into a two parter since we already know no mics and, and mine. Like what is your equivalent of that for you? You know, do you get a feeling when when that? Do you get butterflies in your stomach when when something like that happens? And what what what's a one moment in particular you? Uh, uh, you know, can kind of think about that. I think I kind of already gave mine here. Uh, so, uh, Mike, you gave what your feeling is. Uh, what what what's a, a good memory of when you know maybe that was at the height, other than puberty? Uh, um, the most recent one I think I had was when I went to the Raw after WrestleMania on my 30th birthday, and Dolph Ziggler cashed it. Mm-hmm. Because I honestly I was going through my camera last night because I was just getting stuff off of it. And I found the video again, and I watched it again, and I got that same sensation, just because the atmosphere in that building was so, like, palpable. Like, it wanted, like, everyone in that arena wanted that to happen so badly. And it was it was really, really special. Doesn't it seem like you kind of, in moments like that, like, you feel, it's like everybody has this shared energy, Mm-hmm. Oh, that whole arena, that whole night felt like there was a shared energy. And I think mm-hmm. it's because just about everyone there was disappointed with WrestleMania the night before, which probably at least 90% of that arena was at. Mm-hmm. And I, th- I think that was kind of like, it's like, like we were all disappointed in WrestleMania, but we went to Raw the night after because most of us had tickets anyway, so seeing what we wanted to happen at WrestleMania happen in a much smaller, intimate venue, it was just like, yes! Like, it was just awesome. Awesome. Uh, what about you, LB? Do you have, what, what, what is that equivalent of that feeling for you? Uh, is it any different? And what, what kind of moment uh, comes to your mind? Um, well, the, the feeling that we were talking about I get it in my gut. It's a strong, tight feeling in my gut. You know what I mean? It, it kind of spread down your arms because it's very, especially when you realize it, when you realize you're watching something absolutely, truly special. Um, now, I, I have two examples that I want to that I want to mention. The first one, um, 
that where I absolutely got that feeling was uh, WrestleMania something or other. I don't know. It was Shawn Michaels Taker number one. And I watched that match. It, uh, excuse me, many, many times since then. And it's amazing. It, every single time. I'm, there's never been a time where I've watched it and been like, yeah. Incredible each and every time. Um, the other time, um, this, this was different. Uh, this was uh, a different feeling. Um, it was my first live Raw. And it was in Pittsburgh, obviously. And uh, it was before they did the first one-night stand pay-per-view. And uh, a bunch of ECW guys came back that night, uh, and including people who hadn't been in the company before, like Sabu showed up. And, and uh, I don't remember who else. It doesn't matter. Fucking Sabu showed up, and he's one of my favorite wrestlers. Um, and I stood on my feet and chanted ECW so hard and so loud. Passed out and sit down. Awesome. So what? those are my uh, my two examples. What about you, Eamon? Uh The closest one that I can think of personally, um, and this was sort of earlier in my wrestling fandom, um, but I, it still sort of meant a lot and sort of gave like a euphoric sort of feeling when it actually happened. Was uh, the uh, and, and obviously it was tarnished but the chris benoit win at wrestlemania 20 mm-hmm. um it was very unexpected uh and it was just something that the the image was very much like a it was it was, was like a once in a lifetime sort of image to see the celebration afterwards and it i mean it, it obviously stuff happened and but it's still something that sort of sticks in your mind is like one of those like really really memorable moments that sort of gave you sort of this feeling of excitement. Mm-hmm. So I may have cried but, a little bit. Yeah. It, it, wasn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was one of those, like, these guys made it. Because these were the two you saw, you know, exit WCW. They were the promising ones you knew were never going to make it, and they did it. And they were both on top. And they were the future, you know. It, it's so, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, and then, it's so sad what happened to both those guys at WrestleMania, after WrestleMania 20, so, yeah. So um, let's see if anybody. For, nope. Uh, so yeah, tell us. You know, what's your moment? What's your feeling? You know, I, I think I think anybody that's into wrestling has something like that, and that's I feel like that's that's the reason you're into it, right? Is to get that mm-hmm. feeling. Like sometimes I get that at indie shows. You know, I, Amy, you probably have the same thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not limited to WWE. That's yeah, just the yeah. Way it's it's just like it. it's that feeling. I was like, wow, I'm seeing something special here. You know, Sork, I, yeah. Sork, I had that when um, Ray Rowe was challenging Chess Sork. Sork. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because then Ray Rowe challenged me, and well, I, I I'm still owed an IWC title shot. Still. <laughs> Yeah, definitely being ringside for things like that and being involved like that. Um, but yeah, it's definitely it's definitely pretty cool. Um, so with that, uh, yeah, let us know what's your moment and everything. Hashtag, hashtag remember when on Twitter, at Mayhem Show. Uh, hit us up. And of course, the Facebook and Google Plus, you can uh, go on there as well. Find us. You know, let us know. Uh, and, and if you're responding to this video, because we snipped this piece out. Some of you guys don't know. We take the little remember ones. We take the indie minutes. We would split them out, stick them out on YouTube by themselves. See if anybody latches onto the shorter versions of, the sh- of parts of the show and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to get into uh, more, and I'm going to start duking it out with Mike here, I think, uh, about Battleground in particular. Uh, he's putting his dukes up all right. But first, Mike, we have T-shirts, you know. We have T-shirts. We have T-shirts. We have the best T-shirts uh, that money can buy representing of a wrestling podcast uh, such as ours. Uh, thanks to ProWrestlingTees.com uh, and the great Alex Cars uh, for a lot of these T-shirt designs. 